In my 12 ways to aim with a pull cue video, I showed many ways you can use your cue to help visualize aim. In this video, I show additional ways to quickly visualize a shot's aim and expected cue ball direction. If you have trouble aiming certain types of shots, or all shots, you might find some of these techniques helpful. I call the first technique air cue aiming. While standing over the shot, just hold up your cue so you see it passing through the object ball and target pocket. This can help you visualize the line and angle to the pocket, the location of the ghost ball target, and the required line of aim. Here's the whole process from a different view. Again, I am visualizing the line and angle to the pocket and the ghost ball target. This helps me see the required line of aim to pocket the ball. As I showed in my previous video, you can use your cue to help visualize a virtual rail. This can be helpful since rail cut shots are much easier to aim than back cuts in the middle of the table like this. You can also use an air cue to help visualize the virtual rail while standing over the shot. Here's the whole process from a different view. Again, I am using the cue to visualize a virtual rail along the edge of the object ball to the pocket. Now, a sometimes difficult to aim back cut in the open looks like an easy rail cut shot. You can also use your cue to visualize the tangent line of a shot. Here is the most common way when you can easily reach the object ball. Just position the cue perpendicular to the line to the pocket. Here I am pointing the joint of the cue to the pocket and the tip points to where a stun shot would head. Here a stun shot results in a scratch. If you can't easily reach the object ball or if you want to stay in your standing position over the shot, you can use an air cue to visualize the line. Again, just hold your cue up along a line perpendicular to the line to the pocket. We can easily avoid the scratch here either with a follow shot or with a draw shot. If the table layout were like this, needing to pocket the 11 and get shape for the 8, a follow shot is the right play. In my most recent video, I showed how you can use the third degree rule and an air piece sign to visualize a shot like this. Here's the technique applied to the shot at hand. Point the index finger along a line through the cue ball and ghost ball target, and then parallel shift the middle finger to the ghost ball to see the direction the cue ball will head. Here's the whole process again. If the ball layout were like this instead, draw is a good play. If you didn't want to come that close to the pocket, you could instead use more draw and inside spin. The other videos I mentioned, along with aiming system resources, are linked in the video description if you want to learn more. I hope you can put some of these air tricks to good use. Give them a try, and good luck with your game from Dr. Dave.